Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a serious and important topic that has been making waves on social media. Popular OnlyFans creator Danae Davis has recently come forward with explosive allegations against fellow content creator Gucci Third Leg, accusing him of spreading STIs to collaborators within the industry. Let's break down what's happening, why this matters, and the larger conversation. It sparked about safety and transparency in the adult content community. Danae Davis didn't hold back when she took to Twitter, accusing Gucci Third Leg of spreading sexually transmitted infections, including genital herpes, within the OnlyFans community. In a bold tweet, she warned creators not to be fooled by his follower count, saying, genital herpes is spreading in this industry like wildfire. Her tweets included claims that Gucci Third Leg allegedly lies about his test results and even covers up his symptoms. She also shared screenshots from other creators who came forward, confirming similar experiences with Gucci. One content creator thanked Danae for speaking out, explaining that they had been bullied after contracting an STI from him. This situation is shedding light on a dark corner of the adult content industry that we really need to talk about. Danae also shared her own heartbreaking story of how she too contracted genital herpes after working with Gucci Third Leg. She admitted feeling ashamed and fearful of losing her income if she spoke out sooner. She said she continued collaborating with him just to milk the money she felt owed after the ordeal. But now she's determined to help other young creators avoid the same fate. She mentioned that Gucci often targets newer creators, usually between the ages of 19 and 22, who may not have the knowledge or power to speak up. This paints a troubling picture of how creators can be exploited in this industry and how fear of losing work often keeps them silent. These allegations have sparked a larger conversation within the OnlyFans and adult content community. Consent, health, and transparency in collaborations are crucial. But as Danae's story shows, they're often overshadowed by fear of losing reputation or deals. Davis also posted a TikTok to further her message about the importance of consent and safety in this industry, encouraging other creators to be more vocal about these issues. I'm just gonna say, yes, you gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci Third Leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was gonna send me his results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me. And they're so young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared. And I was making so much money. I just, <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. As of now, Gucci Third Leg hasn't responded to these serious allegations. But the conversation continues to grow. This situation highlights the need for accountability in the industry and for creators to protect themselves physically and legally when entering collaborations. At the end of the day, transparency and safety should be a priority in any industry, especially one that deals with personal health and intimate collaborations. Danae Davis's bravery in speaking out may lead to more awareness and change within the community. What are your thoughts on this situation? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in industry news. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.